Hey, how's it going? My name's Brent, I also go by I Am Error, and want to thank you for taking an interest in my course, Metroidvania Toolkit. Metroidvania action platformers are one of the most popular genres in the indie gaming community, and I know a lot of people start game development in the hopes of making a Metroidvania-style action platformer, but as far as a one-stop shop complete solution tutorial series, I was never able to find anything that was designed specifically for this genre of game. I know there's a ton of tutorial series on platformers, as well as shoot 'em ups but what makes a Metroidvania-style game unique is the way you acquire abilities throughout the game to explore the world around you. In this course, I'll go over all the key features needed to make a Metroidvania-style action platformer game. This course is designed for all skill levels, whether you've never written a line of code in your life, or you've been using Unity for years. Everybody can benefit from taking this course if you plan on making a Metroidvania-style game. I've also edited this course in a way that can be easily watched on a mobile device, because if you're like me when I started with game development, I didn't have two computer monitors, and typically watched tutorial series on mobile devices like a phone or a tablet, which oftentimes made it very difficult to read the code on small devices. So whenever we start writing code or doing something new within the Unity editor, I make sure to zoom in on the key points of interest, or whatever line we're currently working on when we're writing code. For those who have never written code or used a game engine before, the initial section I provide goes over everything from how to download Unity to the very basics of computer coding. After the initial section, there's over 80 episodes of content specifically tailored to create a Metroidvania-style game. Other than a few pieces of art I provide, as well as some scripts that we'll download that'll act as extensions to Unity, we're going to build everything from the ground up. We'll first discuss how we can create a character, create all the different movement abilities, and then have animations for everything, so that by the end of the second section, we'll have a fully functional character that we can use as the player, as well as nearly all the movement abilities coded out. Some of the features I'll discuss in section 2 will include complete horizontal movement, a jumping system that can be toggled to have multiple jumps, as well as wall sliding and wall jumping, a crouching solution that will allow the player to go under tight areas, as well as a dashing solution that will allow the player to pass through certain platforms or layers. In Section 3, we'll go over all the shooting mechanics, including building a robust object pooling system, create as many different projectile types as you would want, a weapon inventory system, we'll also go over 8 directional aiming, as well as lock-on aiming towards the closest target, and then we'll end Section 3 by creating a classic grappling hook for these types of games. In Section 4, we'll start building out level parameters, including an intelligent camera follow system that'll focus on displaying what's in front of the player, and then we'll also talk about the different platform types that you'll typically see in platformers, including destructible platforms, donut platforms, one-way platforms, moving platforms, and ladders. We'll also go over how to open a door based on the projectile type, and then we'll wrap up Section 4 by creating persistency when the player explores different rooms. Section 5 will be dedicated to the map system, and we'll create a mini-map that'll be positioned in the top right of the screen, that can show different points of interest, as well as a world map that can have a fog of war aspect to it, so that as you discover rooms, they'll start to appear on the map as you visit those locations. We'll make sure we can have this data persist between every scene, and have an accurate map system that'll display where the character is based on the different rooms. Section 6 will be dedicated to AI, and I'll show you how we can create different enemy types based on different parameters the enemies can follow, such as how an enemy can move, whether or not they can follow the player if the player is within a certain distance to the enemy, and whether or not the enemy can have a melee attack, a ranged attack, or both. And then we'll wrap up the entire series by going over damage and health, random drops when enemies die, what should happen when the player dies, item pickups and ability acquisition, so that when you pick up certain items they unlock certain abilities for player movement, and then we'll create a save load system with different slots so that you can have different game files, and each game file will have their own respective data persist. This is going to be a one-stop shop for everything that you'll need to know, and some of the more complicated theories I teach within this series, such as the grappling hook, the map system, and data persistency with the load system, there just simply isn't any other tutorial resource that I'm aware of, and is the main inspiration for me making this entire series to begin with. Right now, while the course is new, I have it at its lowest price, and for probably less than you would spend on a single meal for dinner, you can have easy access to all the popular features that make these games so revered. And because we'll be building everything from scratch, you'll have the knowledge on how to modulate it yourself, and can easily tailor this tutorial series to whatever game you're trying to make if you're a more experienced game developer. And of course, for those of you who have never coded anything in your life, this course will make sure you hit the ground running if you want to make these types of games, and take it from somebody like me who taught themselves by watching tutorials online, there is nothing out there that's more organized on this exact type of game. I make sure to take the time to explain things in layman's terms, and always introduce new topics with very relevant examples.
And if you're on the fence on whether or not you want to invest in this course, keep in mind there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if for any reason you're not finding this course beneficial, you can receive a full refund up to a month after the purchase. As a hobbyist game designer and passionate video game player, I recently played many of the most popular Metroidvania titles out there to make sure I'm including relevant features. So don't waste your time trying to figure out how to make a Metroidvania-style game on your own or pick up bits and pieces from other free online resources and try to Frankenstein a game that way, invest in your own time and sanity by taking a course from somebody who's super passionate about quality video games. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to have you as a student.